trains. We'll make a pirate out of you yet, Mr. Rena. <laughs> That's it. Robbing a train again get you feeling nostalgic? Damn straight. We must have hit the Shell Express a dozen times back in the day. <laughs> oh, that keeper never got old. Almost got us killed when they smartened up and started using Outriders to chase us. Never was a man of them could keep up with you on a vulture, Jimmy. Just add it to the fun. How the hell you got a job as Marshal after all that? I'll never know. Yeah, yeah, good old days, robbing trains, yada yada, bang bang, yeah. I'm making diamondbacks. Jim, let me in. What really happened on Tarsonis? Whatever it was, I can see it tearing you up inside. Tarsonis. That's where it all went down. Meng stole a psi emitter from the Confederacy and planted it there. He knew that it'd attract the Zerg and... Our revolution began that day. The day Mengsk murdered a whole planet and called it justice. My god. Billions of innocent people. That's... That's just... Monstrous. No wonder you hate him so much. Ladies and gentlemen, each night I bring you the news in the most fair and balanced manner possible. But tonight I have a commentary. Some have asked me what the difference is between our leader, Emperor Mansk, and the traitor, Jim Rayner. They point out that Mansk rebelled against the government of his youth and came to power through the use of violence and subversion. Why is it wrong for Jim Rayner to rebel in similar fashion? There is a difference. When Emperor Mansk began his revolution, there was no threat hanging over humanity. James Rayner is waging his revolution while we are at war with two alien races. James Rayner, have you no conscience? Shouldn't you fall... I've been looking for an encryption expert so we can access the adjutant we recovered. No luck so far. Colonel Orlin at Dead Man's Port can crack anything. Haven't been back there in a while. Say, didn't you end up getting married last time we were there? I told you before. If I knew what the prize was, I never would have joined that card game. There's just something about a lover's reunion that chokes me up. <sighs> We still need to access the adjutant we retrieved from Tarsonis. Our old mercenary associate, Colonel Orlin, is an expert in Confederate code decryption. If our intel's right, he should still be based at the Murk Haven at Dead Man's Port. He's not very trustworthy, but he's our best bet of breaking that encryption. Dead Man's Port. It's risky just waiting here with all these mercenaries around. Colonel Orland sure taking his time decrypting that adjutant for us. Yeah, I'm getting a bad feeling about this. Incoming transmission.
James, Orland decrypted your adjutant, but he's planning to sell it to the Dominion. Must have been something exciting in there. He, he wants me to keep you off his back until they arrive. That's nice, Mira. But why are you telling me all this? Because I like you and Matthew better than him, of course. Match Orland's offer, and I will help you take him out instead. He's paying in minerals, so I'll give you the same deal. Done. Always a pleasure, Mira. Don't take too long now. If Orlan comes up with the goods first, I will have to side with him. Oh, and um, say hello to Matthew for me. Ask him why he never calls. <laughs> It's gonna be hard to get minerals down there. We'll have to find salvage if we're gonna hire Mira before Orland does. You think she'll help Orland, sir? She's a mercenary. She'll help whoever pays the most. got a deal with Mira Han. Now let's get to work and get that adjutant back. By the numbers, boys. Sure thing. Why not? Pirates have been stripping down ships here for years. It should be pretty easy to collect enough scrap to pay Mira off. Yep. Who wants some? That's fine. SCV ready. Those shredders are constantly producing scrap we can salvage. We should check this area again later. Looking forward. Can't wait. Orders received. I never got to give it to him last time you boys were here. Damn, Jimmy. Are those vulture bikes? Good eye, Tigers. We can use them to lay mines around our base to hold off Orland. Fire
additional supply demands required. Bad news. Yo. Gotcha. Armed and ready. Ten four. You got the doctor it. is in. Yes, sir. That's fine. Roger that.
Roger that. We'll do. Looking forward to it. <laughs> Victory is ours. Well, I read you, sir. Mineral field depleted. Aye, aye, sir. Can't wait. How about lending a hand? This oh. is under attack. What's on your mind? This better be good. That's fine. Forces are yours, Jim. I'm so glad I got to side with you and Matthew. Oh, you scheming little. I'll show you what happens to double dealing backstabbers. That's fine. Outstanding.
Sir, the decrypted adjutant is back in the lab and ready to go. Well, old girl, we dug you up on Tarsonis. Were you online during the Zerg attack? Do you remember anything about Arcturus Menx being involved? Menx, Arcturus, ex-Confederate officer, civilian prospector, founder and leader of the Sons of Korhal terrorist group. Status, criminal. Accessing intercepted transmission 0081 to 0086 Alpha. This is Duke. The emitters are secured and online. Who authorized the use of psi emitters? I did, Lieutenant. What? The Confederates on Antigua were bad enough, but now you're gonna use the Zerg against an entire planet? This is insane! She's right, man. Think this through. I have thought it through. Believe me. You all have your orders. Carry them out. I will not be stopped. Not by you, or the Confederates, or the Protoss, or anyone. I will rule this sector, or see it burnt to ashes around me. Holy... I can't believe it. We can nail Minx to the wall with this. 